Hello everyone, Firex here. In this video I want to present to you one special command for Arma 3, one that I'm very fond of. And at the end of this video I hope you will be excited about this as well. The command is create simple object and it doesn't sound like much just like that by itself. It has been added recently with the 1.58 update along with more interesting updates to the game, new mechanics and more commands, but in this video all I want to do is to show you this one command in particular, because for me personally this command is somewhat more precious than many other additions to the game, something that I've been waiting for since the very first Arma game. The syntax for the command is as follows, create simple object, brackets, path to the object model, comma, position, close brackets. So we have two parameters that we need to set up here. The second parameter is the position. Over here you can either get a position of some already existing object or define some new position yourself. The format is a standard 3D array, so you have the X, Y and Z axes if you aren't familiar with how positions work in Arma and or want to know more about it, I can recommend you one of my older tutorials explaining exactly that. In my case I will first use a very simple get post command to quickly set up a position and will show you some other method later in the video. The position, as you might expect, selects where the object is created. I think it requires no further explanation. And the first parameter, the important one, path to the object model, it's something that isn't used normally, only a few commands actually want you to define a path to something, but luckily it's not too difficult, just a string with a path. The expected path is relative to the game folder and or the mission folder. What is meant by that is that you don't need to define the entire path to the file, i.e. C, program files, Steam, but you only define the path within the game's archives. So let's say I want to use the command to spawn a lamp in front of the player. Now I'm not talking about create vehicle, where you only need the general class name, over here you need the path as well. So if I were to search for the lamps in the games folders, I would need to go to Arma 3 folder, then head to add-ons, then open one of the archives here, so use any tool to open PBO archives. These are a standard part of Arma 3 tools, also the community has created a couple of them, so open the archive structures underscore f dot pbo, then head to folder sif, then folder lamps, and here I found all models for lamps in the game. You can recognize the models by their extension p3d. Now the game recognizes the pbo archives as normal folders, so all we need to do is to write a3 a general representation of vanilla archives, structures f, sif, lamps, and one of the files, let's say lampsolar.p3d. Let's try out if the command works, and it kinda does, it could be worse, the lamp is just a little bit in the ground. So we can move it with set post command a little bit up, Again, if you haven't seen the video about coordinates and set post get post, I recommend you to watch either my tutorial or find any other, it's very useful. Okay, so we have a lamp. It wasn't easy to set it all up, we had to search the game's folders, the lamp got stuck in the ground, we could have used a much simpler command to do the same without so much hassle, so why do we need this command? Here's the good thing about create simple object, it doesn't stop at lamps. It also allows you to spawn buildings, fences, smaller items, fortifications, even vehicles, but also rocks, boulders, bushes, trees, roads, bridges, individual particles, pieces of glass, virtually anything that has an actual object, a p3d file, can now be created with this command. Of course it has a drawback, create simple object can only create simple and not complex objects. Any damage calculations, vehicle physics or AI pathfinding for these objects are not supported and cannot be added to objects created with this command. That means not ideal for making units, vehicles, planes or anything that you actually want to work with in a mission. Something the player should interact with or rely upon during the mission. These objects still should be created in the editor or with create vehicle or create unit commands. 
However, for all decorations, environmental changes, landscape and in general objects that aren't that vital for a mission, this command is ideal. The reason why I value the command so much is that it allows us to create objects that were previously unavailable, such as trees, rocks, even the road paths are useful. These objects don't have a class name and couldn't be reached by most commands. And this was true for all Arma games up until now. Of course, there have been mods here and there that added these objects into the editor, but it was always a mod, another dependency for the mission. And I was personally always staying a bit aside from mods. I was also many times forced to only use vanilla game. And that also helped my custom to just never use mods. So I understand that if you use 10 different enhancements for the editor, this isn't such great news for you, but I think that it's great that we got a way to spawn these things from the devs themselves, a recommended, fully reliable method for making next level mission decorations and environment. I'm sure that there will be an Eden mod that adds these objects to the list if there isn't one already. And if you don't like mods like me, you can always use the commands, it's really no big difference. Now let me show you what else this command can do. At the start of our path to the object, we are defining a seemingly non-existing folder A3, which indicates that the game should look in its own folder and search the vanilla parts of the game. But we can also change that to other mods, which is much more difficult because you have to be sure that the mod actually exists there with that exact name and location. But we can also emit this entirely and call for an object that exists in our mission folder. If we forget about all mods and A3 folders, the game is also able to look in pretty much any other folder in our computer, and there is a simple way to make it search in our mission folder. It includes two extra steps. First, we need to go to our mission folder and create a file called description.ext. Make sure to get the extension right. Next, we need to alter the code slightly. Instead of the path, we will use one line of code, then the plus sign and the name of our model. Thanks to Killzone Kit, who dedicated an article about this matter some time ago, this is using a command that returns the path to the description.ext file. So, wherever the mission is located on a computer, this command returns a full path right to the description.ext file. But because it returns a full path including the description.ext name itself, we have to cut the last 15 characters and we end up with the path only. Then we just add our object name at the end. And it allows us to spawn the model from within the mission folder. Again, mods are no longer needed. If you just want to add, say, specific decorations to a mission, you can just throw the models to the mission folder, call them in the game and use them. No mods required. Imagine all the possible uses. Aside from the obvious that you don't need a mod to add this or that, you can for example run a multiplayer mission and spawn Christmas presents in December, spawn a cake whenever it's someone's birthday, create your own unique models that you can show off without the need to force other people to download extra mods and add-ons. Please remember that still not ideal for spawning units or vehicles due to restrictions in damage handling, AI and physics. But any static objects that don't need much, you can get them in the game very quickly with little effort. Of course, after spawning them in, you can use any other commands to work with them as usual, as long as you remember the mentioned restrictions. Please remember that the command is meant primarily for decorations. Anyway, I hope that you are at least a little bit interested in this command. I personally think that it has incredible potential for many amazing things and it just depends on how the community decides to use the command. The video description contains links to all the code used throughout the video and an example mission that you can download in case something goes wrong and you want to see a working example. That's it for this video, I hope to see you all in the next one and have a great day.